Hello Gamer, I'm Ceridius, and this is an older series I used to do quite a while ago called Crucible Reviews, but we're going to change the name of it a little bit to Trials Reviews because I want to do just trial stuff. Now, what we did here is you guys would send me your, your gameplay of Trials of Osiris, and it would be a specific game, so one that was really close where you just barely won or barely lost. And I'm gonna and I go over it. I point out things you could have done, and point out some stuff, and you know, end up giving you guys a lot of you know tips to hopefully improve your game, improve your gameplay. So I posted a video not too long ago, uh, maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, asking for you guys to send me clips. And I think I had five emails, and only one of them sent me something that was close. And it was a Twitch vod, and I was gonna use it, but the Twitch vod is now gone. So. Uh, again, I'll go over the stuff towards the end on what to send me, but uh, just for example, to go ahead and get started to bring the series back, I'm going to use my own footage. So this was me the other day playing with uh, Old Man Mikowski and Butt Wipe. We just got done doing the low light challenge. So this was a game. Um, it was a close, close game, and just one of the one of the ones I could probably use. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the way I like to do these is I like to kind of run out uh, the first round, watch some things, and then go back and uh, point out some stuff. So that is what I will do. So here we go, watching my own gameplay. I already had like went and clipped this out of like an eight hour recording and I had turned down the voice audio. So you might not be able to hear me in the background, but that's fine because that's not the point of the video. They're quite literally I'll running with swords. And they rotated mark. the beach. Play with me. Because their beach is, you know. We'll play on words there. We'll form a friend. I guess it's, it's kind of nice to get to go back and watch my own, my own footage. He sucks. Yeah. He's, one's going to freeze. One's up in the air, though. Oh, he's not going to freeze. Can I shoot through this? Yes. Oh wow! You can also get boss. shot through it. Cheeky, cheeky, yep, yep. <laughs> Bro, are you gonna do this? Did you let me shoot? Is this gonna happen? No, dude. It, the game would let me shoot. Yeah, I, I remember that. I remember playing that. Yeah, Hunter wasn't able to shoot for some reason. I think All this right, was so a something else happened during this round. Okay, so. I'm not gonna go back super far because there was a, like a, not a lot of action. Here's when we finally get into the action. Hit this guy. Hit a shot. Hit a shot. Still full health, so it's okay to push this guy. I might have been able to blink forward and actually shotgun him, but I didn't. And what I did here was good. I kind of um, predicted and heard the glacial grenade, and I blinked backwards, which was good. I kind of outplayed that. Um, I don't know why he didn't freeze, though. So my intention here with this plan was... When you back wrist roll backwards, you hit him with Winter Shroud, which puts a slow effect on them, and then you hit him with a Shuriken and it freezes them. So if we go back another, you know, a little bit. Play on words there, a little fun with friends. Let's watch this again. I'm with you, Jimmy. So I dodge that. He's slowed. I can see he's slowed. He's got the whole. I can't. I don't even know where the Shuriken goes, but that's why I go in for the Shatter right there, and I die. So, that plan got busted, and he's such, yeah. he's, that was just an unfortunate freeze, round up near, oh, he's not gonna freeze. for for me. Yes. Not a whole lot to say there. I think I towards the end, Hunter could have yeah. just tried to primary the last guy instead of Bro. trying to shoot his sniper. I don't know why it wouldn't shoot. Are you gonna do this? Maybe the uh, that's that's too long for the whole reload animation oh, to take dude, effect. Maybe he canceled it too early and just had zero bullets right, in the gun so. still. Okay. So let's go ahead and go on to round two. Well, then let's Three. begin it again. I don't remember though. I know these guys don't look familiar. <laughs> I think at this point. There's no way, dude. That guy's pissed. We had played a team before us and they were using. They whipped out Yoten towards the end, so. But but wife wanted to bring it out uh, for the lulls. 
<laughs> Alright, so absolutely nothing to say on that round, other than maybe in the beginning. I've I've kind of got this mentality a little bit lately that don't flank in Destiny. Flanking in Destiny, there's there's almost no such thing as flanking. They, against lesser players, it'll work, but if you're playing against a decent team, you there there's there's really no such thing as flanking. Because you know why? The radar up top. You can't flank. Know. You're, you, they know exactly where you're at. So if a good team is just going to turn around and team shot you real quick. The only time a flank is actually really, you know, useful is if you're really, really, really communicating with your team. And you're really, you know, you're really trying. Like, you're like, okay, guys, I'm going for the flank. You guys, you know, push them from the top. Tell me when you start to, you know, get into an engagement with them. Start fighting them when they're hurt. And then that's when you, the flanker, can push in and, uh, you know, actually be useful. But if you push in and make the first flank, you know, first uh, attack by, first move by yourself while you're flanking, no way, dude, most of the time it won't be successful. It shouldn't be successful. Oh, no, no, no. But yeah, like I said, against the lesser oh, yeah. players, it should work. Now, back wrist on a revenant, you're basically winning any 1v1. It's it's such an easy combo. So. Where's the floss emo, Jimmy? Oh, they're... We'll go ahead and fast forward to this round and it's see weird. what is. Even though you're on my team, just the charging up of that scares me. Scares you? Right? It's, it's not weird. Bit, it's yeah. not weird at all. Just been kinkle a little bit. Jumping up to that little block there. I'm very weak right now. Fucking a, bro. Here. There's like two out of my exit. Oh, oh yeah, one's on the flank. Yeah, flanker. One. The other guys pushed in. Oh, all right, so let's go back to right here. I, I, I have a problem with always trying to fight right here, and this is not a good place to really fight. There's just there's too many places you can be shot from, and that's what happened right here. Now, I did do a decent job of waiting for my entire health to fully regen. Up top, before I you know peeked out completely. You know I'm still regenerating, still safe, and now I peek out and I'm basically at full health, which is that was some pretty good timing. Most time people will peek out without that being fully regen, and then they'll they'll get you know two tapped, one tapped, and be like, why was I two tapped or one tapped? I was I don't even know how I died that fast. Like I know I got team shot, but it's not weird. It's not weird at all. Just been kinkle a little bit. Can't tell if I got shot from three different people or what, but that guy's twelve sixty light, so he's gonna be doing a little bit more damage on me. Other than that, that's that's really a bad place to fight. Are they down there? Yeah. Means like nothing to me. Right. So onward to the next one. Heavy round, so we're pushing towards the middle. Oh, we don't pull heavy, but you know. Different place to fight. I like to be particular, particularly more aggressive. So I'm more like of the tank and like to lead into the fight. That's why I'm more a bit uh, pushy. Um, right here, what I was doing, you know, probably would have worked, but. Heavy ammo. I think that would have worked any other time. I would have had a double kill right there, but the unfortunateness of the heavy ammo round, but I should have paid attention, I guess, a bit better to, uh, you know, knowing they had a sword in play and not have been so uh, aggressive. Chief. Chief. Love that. Chief put me inside your head. <laughs> so we'll watch how this round plays out. Oh. oh god Me into your head now she says that <laughs> yeah she does say that actually that's a quote really this is not fan fiction from the mind of sirtius now that is a quote from the official writers of halo i.e bungie damn damn nope they wrote that line oh my god i was about to pop my super but then you know did that on mound one shot absolute nice she's on, nice. My ex. Nice. she's on my ex she has a shotgun bring it bitch it can have your ex all right, so they're able to clean that up pretty easy. Hunter should have probably dropped down and helped him out, but let's watch my mistake oh my here. God. My mistake here was 
you know? Did that on it's hard to tell, but I, th I think I misread the radar. Down. Down. True, but then, you know. Oh my, my god. So, coming up. No, oh, there's two on the radar, but by the time I zoomed in, I'm already looking at the gun. And I think the guy on radar is this guy. So, I really didn't see this hunter. And, you know, maybe I could have backwards rolled, but this that's... Not enough. That was too fast. Not enough. Can't, can't react fast enough. So, that was just an unfortunate misread of radar. And that's uh, what they call suicide tunnel because going in there is basically suicide. You know, there's. It's a that's a not a not a good tunnel to fight in. Three four three is the owner. Three four three makes Halo now. It's Microsoft. They they bought the IP from Bungie and then started their own studio to continue to make Halo games it's called 343 Industries 343 after 343 Guilty Spark who is a lot like a ghost very similar to the, to the ghost in Destiny there's so many crossovers actually in Halo kind of crazy oh god here we go you want to escape this way he does he does too predictable too predictable don't be that easy don't be that <laughs> I remember I remember this I don't I don't remember how I survived this whole little situation. Alright, so I didn't even do anything that round, so it's not even not much to critique. Basically at this point, you know, I'm fighting, you know, I got some shots on the dude I can push up. And I'm aiming over here to try and see if I can help out butt wipe. Nothing's going on. I assume that they're gonna be pushing towards butt wipe. And I'm gonna go push that Titan, but I guess the warlock shoots me in the butt, but I like, I don't know where he's at. Is he floating? Or was it a Vakras hunter that just did a roll? Because something slowed me. I, I think that was like COD timing, but either way, I barely got out of there. Yeah, didn't even do anything that round, so not much I can say. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think with these games, I, I wish there was more revives, because I love critiquing <laughs> revives. <laughs> playing playing revives is so vital. I need a Yotun. You hit that, bro. Cheating. So, alright. Oh, so, the enemy team is trying to play a bit different. I'm, I like I said, I'm a bit more aggressive. You know, I like to make the... I know you guys, there's people out there who hate and probably say otherwise, and all I do is shotgun ape. But I will... Uh, I pull it out when it's necessary, you know. So much for uh, damage damage If you make a shotgun kill easy, I'm gonna use a shotgun. There's no point to use a hawk right. moon five meters away. Oh, Alright, so let's see, this round I'm just I'm trying to be aggressive. Jump up in this crack. Just a misread of the radar, looking in the wrong spot. I mean it looks like he's right in front of me, probably right here. Which is kind of where I looked at first, and then I looked right, but he was left. Go. So, a so little misread of the radar, and after that, it's just oh dude, downhill. Okay, oh. so next yeah. round. Oh, we got two enemy supers on the field. We're pretty close to ours, I assume. They're probably gonna super. I would bet money. Uh, they are showing toes. Above OT, showing toes, showing toes above OT. Give me those toe picks right here. Nice. Toe picks? Oh, shit. Oh, that's interesting. What did it take to kill you? Alright, yeah, I remember this. So again, there's... Not anything too crazy in this round. This is just, uh, you know, I'm challenging a sniper. I can know exactly where he's at, and I, you know, I headshot him, but flinch is, uh, there's no flinch. Either, either you know, I hit him in the head, but on his end, I don't hit him. So when he shoots, like, he's not even flinched or whatever, but that's just one unfortunate thing about Destiny. Um, the smarter play would be to not challenge that lane, especially with my Hawkmoon only critting for 40, I think, from that far. It was... Probably would have been better to not challenge that lane. Luckily, though, I do manage to do enough damage on him for my teammate to just hit him with a, a body shot and kill him. So, Topics. that worked out. 
but my orb is right there. You know, butt wipe does a good job placing the shield, but you know, there's a behemoth in play, and oh, that's interesting. I don't even know how he manages to freeze the behemoth, but you know, it's a behemoth. There's, there's not a whole lot you can do about him. All right, so we're four four. Last round. Again, I'm playing in this little area, which is not the greatest spot to play in, so good uh, good thing I moved away from it. I don't know if that's what I thought to do, but kind of moved towards my teammate over here, Hunter, and then looks like he moves back away a little bit. He's with me. Yep. Yep, right here. I'm on the other side. Dude, I fucking suck, man. I was so dumb. He's sword out, three peeking my axe, three peeking my axe. Maybe super pop it. Yep. All my axe over. Nice. Mm, nice. I, I remember how that plan, round played out, so extremely fortunate right there. Now let's go over this a little bit. At this point, this guy has a shotgun. I don't know what Hunter's doing right there with casually jumping in with a hand cannon out. When, you know, tied with a shotgun. Maybe he hits him with a shuriken. You might get a bait there, Jim. But the little tiny jump right there, there's there's nothing you can do. He's like he's he's stuck there unless he reacts and shatter dives down. He's stuck there, but he just gets killed easily. I'm trying to keep my distance away from that the Titan because I know he has a shotgun too. I have a shotgun myself, but I don't want to get in a shotgun fight because usually those results in trades. Plus, I want to be able to use my super so. Quick tip about Revenant fights. From my understanding, first one to activate the super loses. So you want to try and activate your super second, which is what I managed to do. So I'm trying not to go too far close to this Titan course, because like I said, I want to make a play of my super. I want to, and I want to make a play. Like I don't want to just freeze one person. I want to try and at least get two, especially since we're got one guy down and they have a super on field and three up. I got three on Raider right here. I don't know if I freeze all three of them, but he pops his super first, which is going to freeze me. So, like I said, whoever pops first basically loses. Now, what you want to do here is you want to spam your super. So, spam your super button because it's going to freeze you, and then if you keep spamming, it's going to bust you out. This behemoth misses his melee, and at this point, they're kind of split apart, so I'm not aiming directly at the hunter. You kind of want to yep. split the damage down the middle. Split split the AOE effect between the two of them because whether you hit him head on or not, um, if you hit him head on, it might kill him. But then maybe the other guy to get frozen. So you want to try and split the freeze damage between them. So I don't know what happened to the second little scythe, comma. I can't tell where it went, and it was unfortunate right here that I shatter dive down. I'm supposed to shatter dive towards this titan, and that would have killed him. But I get stuck in this tree. Luckily, I had my blink up, and I was able to blink to him and get the melee off, and you know, he wasn't expecting it. So, really fortunate right there that that worked out the way it did. That was a close game. So, that was a quick kind of demonstration of uh, my trials reviews. And um, the thing is, I want you guys to send me your footage of your trials gameplay. So... Let me talk to you a little bit about what I what I would like for you to send. Because I said I only got like five emails, but really only one of them met criteria. And it was a Twitch clip that got deleted. So first criteria, I want trials only. No no competitive. Nothing else. No quick play. Just trials only. Second, highest quality you can get. Minimum 1080p. But majority will be 1080p and that's fine, right? No music in the background or else I'll have to mute it. I'd rather not do that. So no music in the background. Talking is fine. Do not send me a game of you five owing an enemy team. I can't critique or point out any mistakes when you're just five owing, you know, some bad players. What am I supposed to point out? I want a good game whether you lose four or five or you win four, five, four. You know, a good a good close game or the stuff to point out. Don't send me individual clips. I'm not gonna look at your individual quick scopes. An easy way to do it would be to, you can upload your footage to YouTube and then private it 
and then just send me the private link and then I can watch it from there. Either way though, I'll have the uh, um, kind of what I'm saying down below in the description a bit more in a you know, readable format. So hope you guys enjoy these Trials of Osiris reviews and I'll try and you know put them out quite often, you know, once a week or something like that. Because I like doing these, these are fun to do. I just need I just need some footage from you guys. Because I don't want to use my own footage. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.